Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, The California Beekeeper. I'm Jose. We are moving in to the orchards. We are heading to our yards. We're gonna load up, but first, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video, guys. Woo, let's rock and roll. All right, we made it out a little winded had to do some consolidating here consolidating is just making everything even getting the good hives onto good pallets and uh making sure that we do not take anything to not meet grade we this is an eight frame average uh orchard and uh five frame minimum so always got to make sure that we do not take any dinks We won't disturb the girls any more than we need to. Whew, it's a cold one. Let's rock and roll, guys. There's a little ditch canal thing that I'll bottom out with the trailer and flatbed. It's just too long and don't want to bottom out, don't want any issues. So we're having to ferry them, no big deal. All right guys, we are finished. Took it a little longer than I expected, but that's all right. We got stuck with the forklift. How? Don't know. Had to drop the pallet. Didn't have the GoPro on me. Left it in the truck. It was the last pallet at that yard and it just, just sunk. And immediately you just have to drop that pallet and just wiggle out. So we are going to actually leave our trailer here. The trailer we rented, the running lights do not work. So it's a big no-no. Don't want any problems going down the interstates. So I called up uh, the B-man, Don Bryant. Said, hey, if you have a forklift down that, that'd be great. I'm gonna leave this trailer here and headed out i should be there in about an hour so we're loaded strapped down and ready to rock and roll so hey we'll see you down in williams california guys let's do it Woo! these gates are so heavy when it's a windy day holy smokes
Well, last night was fun. Got the bees into the orchards. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And now we are going to take this trailer back to the rental yard that we got it, or that we rented it from, and let them know that they rented me <laughs> a trailer with no running lights. That would have been a that would have been a bad deal with the, a load, and depending on what the CHP would have said, if we would have got pulled over, he might have just said, "You have to unhitch this trailer, run with your hazard." Who knows? But we ended up leaving the forklift and trailer in our B yard. Now we're gonna take it in and uh, see what happens. Let's go. All right, so we're bringing back this trailer. We're gonna see what they can do for us since. We couldn't even use the trailer since it didn't have running lights. They made it right, so pretty happy. I mean, we've been running from these guys all the time. I mean, no complaints, they're really good. So I'm sure it was an accident, but got the rental um, fee waived. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, if you guys ever have any questions about renting equipment for your B-moves, and you just can't make that leap to buy a forklift yet or a trailer or a flatbed, it's a great alternative to be able to move your colonies for either from one yard to another or into pollination. Great alternative. Uh, I highly recommend you guys looking into your local rental equipment yards. Um, I mean, it's very affordable. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you haven't already, go down below. Smash that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video, guys. We'll see you.